Good morning, my name is Marie Gallo and I am here in beautiful Sun Valley and I want to share with you a recipe typical from Belgium. This is called Choufleur au gratin and in English translate cauliflower au gratin. So today we are going to do the cauliflower and this is a small one, it's about two pounds and you can see it, it's really firm and really wide, so the quality of the ingredient is what I'm looking for when I do a recipe. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna flip the cauliflower. This is a chef knife, and I'm gonna use also a smaller knife, and we are gonna clean up the greens. So what I do, I just take those big chunk of greens out of the cauliflower, and you can use any knife you are comfortable with. So in my case, I use those both, both knives. So there we go. We're just cleaning this. And it's gonna take maybe one minute, max two. And then if you have some green leftover in it, don't worry about it, okay? It's not gonna mess your recipe at all. Okay, here we go. So and I'm gonna cut this little thing sticking out. Et voila, you have the cauliflower without the greens around it. Now we are gonna boil or steam the cauliflower for about 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook the cauliflower, you just don't. We want it to keep it firm and now we are gonna work on our bechamel sauce. Now we are ready to make the bechamel sauce, so to speak. So what I have here, I have one ounce of butter, two ounces of flour, 20 um, ounces of milk, cold milk, but you can do it with warm milk if you want. And I have also two ounces of Gruyere. Emmental will do, Swiss Gruyere can do it as well and salt and pepper, and a little bit of nutmeg. We love nutmeg in our bechamel sauce. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the one ounce of butter, and this is what we call roux, R-O-U-X, blanc, white. Blanc means white. So I'm gonna make the butter to melt. So you wait until the butter is completely melt. Keep in mind we have our um, cauliflower cooking, steaming for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher and to melt the butter. Then I'll show you how it looks like. When the, the, the butter is melt, I'm gonna take it out of the heat. I don't like to mix my butter and my flour while uh, on the heat. I don't like that. Some people might be able to do it, I never did, and I've been making bechamel sauce pretty much all my life. There you go, here is the butter, it melts. So this is the result of, you just have pure butter. So I'm gonna put the flour, this is two ounces of flour, there it goes, and I'm gonna take it out of the heat, and I'm gonna create what we call the roux, R-O-U-X and it should be this. It looks like nothing, don't be afraid, you're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna start pouring some milk. I always start pouring a little bit. My first pouring will be just a tiny bit, just enough to have all the butter, the flour together and create some kind of dough. You know the a play-doh the kids play at school it looks just like that it really does and there you go I'm starting to get a consistency of what we're gonna have later the bechamel sauce there it is see but you don't want that because it's way too thick so you just pour more milk and you keep stirring until you have enough bechamel sauce to pour over your cauliflower. Easy enough, isn't it? Uh, I grew up in Belgium, as you know, so this was really something, my parents were both Italian, you must know that. So I grew up with Belgium cuisine and mostly Italian cuisine, 
But when we had the Belgium cuisine, because my mom worked as a cook in a convent in Belgium, so she always brought some recipe that she never learned when she was a child, Belgium cuisine, and the bechamel sauce was part of it. We have another good recipe with bechamel sauce, and it's called um, chicon au gratin, meaning Belgium and dive au gratin, just like the cauliflower, but instead of the cauliflower, we have um, Belgium and dive roll into French ham and pour with the bechamel sauce just the same way we're gonna do the cauliflower. So there you go, now I'm gonna put my heat a little bit higher so it's gonna cook the, the butter, the flour, and the milk, and it's gonna create that consistency who's gonna be our bechamel sauce. There it goes, and this is what you want. You want this consistency. Okay, now we're gonna season this bechamel sauce and it's very easy. You need salt and pepper. And I, and I do have my pepper mixed with the salt. Two little pinch, and you can always taste. There it goes. I'm gonna put, you don't have to do that, but I do. I'm gonna put a little bit of Gruyere that I'm gonna use at the end of the recipe, but I'm gonna mix it also with the bechamel sauce. And it's not a secret, but I love nutmeg in the bechamel sauce. You won't find a bechamel sauce recipe in Belgium. I think France does the same thing without the bechamel, uh, the nutmeg. Look at this. This is beautiful. I like it. So now a little bit of bechamel uh, nutmeg. I have mine in powder already, but you can use the fresh one and just ground on top of it. So and you just sprinkle. There you go. More. That's enough and your bechamel sauce is ready. So there you go. After 10 minutes, you have a beautiful steaming cauliflower. We're gonna put in the parex, who's gonna go in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 400 degrees. And what I'm gonna do though, and what I like to do, it's to put a little bit of, I have a little bit of butter in my plate here, not much, a little bit. And what I like to do, it's to pour a little bit of bechamel sauce on the bottom. There it is. You just cover your parex. You don't have to, but I do, I like it. And we're gonna take the cauliflower and put it there in the middle and you have a beautiful steamy cauliflower ready to go in the oven after I pour my bechamel sauce. So there it goes, very easy. You're gonna pour your bechamel sauce and I do like to cover the whole thing. There it goes, I like it. I really like this recipe and you can use this recipe with meat not so much with fish, but you could, but I don't use it with the fish. Mostly with beef and pork. Really good with that. What I like to do as well is to put, um, uh, on, it's a, this is a side dish, and I like to serve it with mashed potatoes because you will have some leftover sauce there. You will have enough. And this is, it's for three to four people, side dish. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just pour the Gruyere on top of the, the cauliflower. There it is. This one is just a Swiss Gruyere, but any Gruyere will do it. Emmental, Swiss Gruyere, Comté, it doesn't matter, as long as it's in the family of Gruyere. And here is your cauliflower ready to be in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now it's been 10 minutes since our uh, cauliflower is in the oven. I'm gonna show you uh, how it looks like, but you can have it less or more, and I am gonna put my broiler, and it's we're gonna keep it for one to two minute max, really max, so here it is. It looks just like this. See how that little crust already, the brown, and it's bubbling and stuff. So 
this is what you want to see after 10 minutes. I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna put the broil, but keep an eye on that because as you know, when you broil anything, it goes really fast. Et voila, now you have a beautiful crust, some sauce around it. By the way, a little um, history with the bechamel sauce. Actually, the country of origin, it's really Italy, and uh, the region was Tuscany, and you can check it out because Wikipedia will tell you that. And it was brought to France by the Marquis of Louis de Bechamel, in the 17th century. So the bechamel, it's kind of the motherhood of a lot of sauce in France and Belgium. Thank you for joining me in Murray's Kitchen on Ion Sun Valley. See you next time. Au revoir.